Prynne with the Woody Woodpecker Show. The Pink Panther Laugh and a Half, Hour and a Half Show with the Ant and the Arthur. Mr. Jaw, the Texas Toad, and the Inspector. Mixed up the Talking Dog with Calvin the Fumbling Veterinarian. Action and comedy thrills with the Monster Squad. All new adventures in the land of the lost. Hilarious comedy with Big John, Little John. Action in zany antics with the kids from Cape. And excitement in the inner city with Muggsy. The great NBC Smiling Saturday Morning Parade. Starring as your host and the grandest parade marshal of them all, Freddie Prinze. Thank you, thank you. This is Freddie Prinze, wizard extraordinaire, master of illusion, and many other things you wouldn't believe either. What am I doing here? Well, I was invited to be grand marshal of a super special, super neat parade this morning. Yeah, that's the one. To introduce all the exciting NBC children's programs which will be starting Saturday morning, tomorrow morning. Now, what's the case? Where is everybody, and especially where are the kids from Cape? Uh, right, that's more like it. What took you so long? Not only that, but you can't have a parade without fun. So may I introduce you, Eeny, Meeny, Miney, and Mo. Ah, now that's just the beginning. Latch on to this. It's a smiling Saturday morning, and the weekend's really here. Here comes the Woody Woodpecker, the Pink Panther Cartoon Festival. Got it made in the sunshine, got it made in the shade. The fabulous new friend, McDuff the Talking Dog. It's a smiling Saturday morning, it's a bouncing mood we're in. Chills with the Monster Squad. Step on up, find the crew. A journey back to the land of the lost. For the show is on the move. Double laughs with Big John, Little John. So let the fun. Then it's the mod mad kids from Cape. Let the fun begin. And another brand new Saturday morning character, Muggsy. Step on up, find the crew. For the show is on the move. What do you got that's real good? This beer, Mr. Shane, is that what you're saying? This beer, Mr. Shane, is something brand. It's just a Mr. Shane. His phone has made its name. No finer draft root beer in the land. Draft root beer, just one of 14 great Shasta flavors. It's no fun to name. No finer draft root beer in the land. Excuse me, what will you feed your horse? Horse? <gasps> he looks hungry. Feed him Purina horse chow. And your goat? Purina goat chow? Purina also makes foods like veal chow, rabbit chow, steer chow, monkey chow, chow. Okay, chi but I want to feed my dog. Feed him the food made by the people who know animals. Purina dog chow. We pour everything we know about animals into every bag. Bruno, that's a lot of experience you're eating. And now your dog can experience a great new taste, new beef, bacon, and cheese flavor. Girls, these are the kids from Caper. This is P.T. I'm charming. Doomsday. I'm hungry. Bugs. I'm tough and I'm feisty. And I'm Doc. Girls, be careful, because if you look at Doc... See what happens? Well, I've heard of having an attraction for the ladies, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> Come on, snap out of it. We've got a parade we got to get on. We've got to make sure all the kids know about all the swinging shows tomorrow morning. Girls. Girls. Allow me. I thought the Fonz was cool. Stop. 
do some tricks, and you may end up in the flicks. Remember every member of the world of the gag. The one that's come to guarantee the spirits won't flag. Any bits are hit and you will have the show in the bag. Be, be a clown, be a clown, be a clown. Be a clown, be a clown. Be a clown. Or someone who is happy when they're making a fuss. Be a clown, be a clown, be a clown, be a clown. Be a clown, be a clown, be a clown. Be a clown, be a clown, be a clown. And here's one of the best ways we know to keep right on laughing. We're talking about the great two-hour mammoth marathon cartoon festival that starts this Saturday morning on NBC. <laughs> That great funny character, Woody Woodpecker, returns to NBC with his own show, The Woody Woodpecker Show. <laughs> then it's the Pink Panther, half and a half, hour and a half show with... The Ant and the Aardvark. Gotcha! Mr. Jaw. Uh, the uh, Texas Toad. Uh, uh. The Inspector. The Pink Panther is the host of 90 minutes of cartoon fun. It's no use, Ant. You won't give me the slip. How do you like that? He gave me the slip. Hold it. Don't move, Harry. I want to remember you just the way you look. Don't run away. I won't be your friend. Hey, Grasshopper. I want to be your friend, too. But friends like these, who needs enemy? Here's another one. Ooh, ooh, la, la. And away we go. <laughs> Woody Woodpecker, tomorrow at 8, 7 Central, 6.30 Pacific. And the Pink Panther at 8.30, 7.30 Central, 7 Pacific. Maybe you guys don't know it, but you'll be sharing Saturday morning with McDuff. NBC's talking dog. He appears right after the cartoons, and when I say appears, I mean appears. Of course, only you kids at home and his young master veterinarian, Calvin Campbell, can see McDuff. Right, Calvin? Right, Freddy. <laughs> you know, it's uh, no easy job covering up for an invisible talking sheepdog. Sometimes I think he should have the veterinarian's license instead of me. Why, he can cure any animal just by talking to him. I have to work at it. That's McDuff, the talking dog. You're the only one that can talk to the animals. There's a lot of things you can't do like me. Including disappearing. Okay. That's no way to speak to your family ghost. You mean you're supposed to donate $200 to its favorite charity. Oh, but I'm not entered in the golf tournament. <laughs> you're going to hit me with your back swing. Hold further away. Calvin is challenged to a golf match. And it's McDuff, the talking dog, to the rescue. Just hit the ball. I'll do the rest. McDuff the Talking Dog premieres tomorrow at 10, 9 Central, 8.30 Pacific. You won't forget, will you? That's McDuff the Talking Dog starting tomorrow morning, Saturday morning, right here on NBC. And right after McDuff, you'll see <laughs> the Monster Squad. Monsters? Well, I'm not afraid. <laughs> Monsters! Ha! Monsters. Double half. 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 Tuesday, can't you join us? Why not? <laughs> Actually, caper kids, you've got it all wrong. NBC's Monster Squad are good guys, aren't we, squad? Good. Oh, we're so good, it's scary. You might say, Freddy, that we are blood the brothers. And you're reformed, too, haven't you, old man? Yes. And together, we're a howling success. 
The Monster Squad couldn't scare themselves if they wanted to. I predict Mother Earth may well rock this area. But it's a paperweight. It's an atomic bomb. It would be awfully easy to predict an earthquake if you were planning to cause it yourself. You mean the astrologer might have stolen the atomic bomb? An evil astrologer threatens the world with danger and challenges the Monster Squad. <laughs> What would I know about bats? I am a hockey fan. Neither man nor brute can escape the inexorable grip of Carlo the Clam. You're going to have to defuse the bomb yourself. Thirty seconds to cataclysm. The Monster Squad premieres tomorrow at 10.30, 9.30 Central, 9 Pacific. The Monster Squad follows McDuff the Talking Dog on the NBC Saturday morning children's schedule. I don't know about anyone else, but I think they're a terrific squad. I wonder if I have as much muscle as Frankenstein. I sure wouldn't mind being able to fly like Dracula. And I'd settle for the way the Wolfman gets around. Yeah, maybe being a monster wouldn't be so bad. I didn't mean it. Honest, I didn't mean it. I want to be a monster? Well, you just heard one of the brand new monsters that'll be showing up this season on Land of the Lost Bug, oh. which is celebrating its third year on NBC. There's going to be a lot of new monsters and a lot of surprises. So don't miss a trip back in time tomorrow morning to Land of the Lost. An earthquake brings new trouble to the Land of the Lost. Talk alone. Hey, Chuck, uh, same thing happened to us. We got separated from our dad. It's Uncle Jack. First day thing like that in my life. We demand you surrender the temple. No! The Land of the Lost premieres tomorrow at 11, 10 Central, 9.30 Pacific. Land of the Lost, right after the Monster Squad. A whole new season of excitement and incredible adventures in a prehistoric world for everyone to enjoy, starting tomorrow morning. Right now, we should be starting our pre-parade warm-up. Will you just give us the word, Freddy, and we'll take it from there? Thanks, guys. Shall we join the clowns? I thought you'd never ask. Be a clown, be a clown. Always laugh, never frown. Do some kicks, do the strut, and you won't end up in a rut. Tell a joke, good or bad, and you'll be their number one laugh. And stay with us because a big parade's on its way. We're almost ready for the best event of the day. And in between, perhaps you won't object if we say... Be a clown. This is a terrific NBC Smile and Saturday Morning Parade. Be a clown. And there's much, much more to come, so stick around. Be a clown. Friends, and the reason we're all here is to have a big fat parade to salute all the fun-filled new shows you'll be able to see tomorrow morning right here on NBC. These are my friends, the Kitchen Caper. You'll be seeing a lot of them on Saturday morning. We have our own special set of very swinging clowns. We also have a lot more surprises in store for you. A lot more shows to tell you about. Hey, which one of the programs we've seen so far do you guys like the best? Woody Woodpecker, Pink Panther, and all the cartoons. McDuck, the Talking Dog, the Monster Squad, Land of the Lost. I agree with all of you. We have many, many more wonderful programs to show and tell. So, step on up, find a crew, for the show is on the move. So let the fun, let the fun begin.
Did you ever think it could really be fun to be two people instead of just one? I could have two voices and both of them me. Talk and sing to myself in close harmony. If you were two people with two pairs of eyes, you'd see everything twice, but still the same size. To be able to have two complete sets of ears and dig all your music quadruphonically clear. But of course, that's foolish. It just couldn't be. No one could be two, especially not me. <laughs> or could they? <laughs> Say, you are a little John, aren't you? Well, I imagine being Big John and Little John could create some problems. Yeah, like buying a cheap ticket to the movies and then changing into an adult while trying to pay for it. Yeah. Those are just a few of the milder things that happen on NBC's hilarious new Saturday morning series, Big John, Little John. We also visited Ponce de Leon Park. Now, that is a beautiful little park where Ponce de Leon searched for the mythical fountain of youth. A science teacher accidentally drinks from the fountain of youth. And Big John turns into Little John. What a little voice! <laughs> We're fit! I look like I'm 12. How can I be 12? I have a son who's 14. I am John Martin, your husband. You might be able to fool somebody else, but you can't fool me. If I'm big, I'll be a teacher. If I'm little, I'll be a student. I hate being called a little boy. You guys don't hate it half as much as I do. Big John, Little John, Which Will He Be? Premieres tomorrow at 11.30, 10.30 Central, 10 Pacific. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we should check the plans and get the parade on the road. True? Does a frog have waterproof ears? I have a question. If you have a hat, you need a head to wear it on, okay? And if you have shoes, what good are shoes without feet? True. If we all hold up breath, he may get on with a point. I certainly hope so, because we haven't a lot of time, and there's still so much to be done. I mean, even a wizard extraordinaire has his limits. Yeah, Bugs, get to the point. Well, if you're going to have a parade, you need a place to march. And here we are, way out in the middle of early nowhere. There's only one answer to that question. P.T. and Seymour. How's that again? Meet Seymour. My nose. <laughs> Your nose has a name. Doesn't everybody's nose have a name? Bugs, we can't waste any more time. If Seymour can do the job, turn him loose, because we've got to find a perfect place for the parade. As Seymour might say, I know it. <laughs> Kids from Caper, eeny, meeny, miny, and moe, let's go. <laughs> I don't know how anyone could follow a bad joke like that. Happy hunting, fellows. Remember, the parade's depending on you.
for a parade, Magic Mountain. Seymour the Nose has struck again. And the kids from Caper have successfully completed another assignment. But you'll see them tackle much, much more difficult assignments this season, every Saturday morning on NBC. And I mean difficult. Three months ago, I was commissioned by two men to build them a time machine for scientific purposes. Sounds logical. I told them I needed a few days to work on it. Ever since then, the time machine has been going back and forth between different time periods. As soon as we get our hands on that girl scientist, we're gonna... Do something awful to me! You can't expect us to believe this stuff about the time machine. It's the silliest... Oh, no! Oh, heavens! What are we gonna do? It's real comedy madness when the kids from Caper monkey around. <laughs> The Kids from Caper premieres tomorrow at 12, 11 Central, 10.30 Pacific. The Kids from Caper. Join them tomorrow morning right after Big John, Little John. And next you'll meet a young girl who becomes involved in many action-packed adventures in a big city. And her name is Muggsy. Meet Muggsy, facing life in a big city and looking forward to the action. Send me down a snipper. I think we got an arson. <laughs> This one. I want all of you to start out of the town and see if you can dig up any circumstantial evidence. You know where Stoney lives? He's a real mean dude. Muggsy found the guy who mugged you. Muggsy premieres tomorrow at 12.30, 11.30 Central. I don't know if you can hear it or not, but I can hear a drum. And to me, a drum means just one thing. A parade. You better believe it. And our parade's ready to begin. But Freddie, where are the bands? We can't have a parade without bands. You know, I never thought about bands. And horses to pull the wagons. And, and drum major. Drum major, right. And banners and flags and, and everything. Well, if it's everything you want, then just what? <laughs> get some caper, get going. Well, welcome our special guest bands for the great NBC Smile and Saturday Morning Parade. The Long Beach Junior Concert Band and the Reseda Youth Band. This is the big moment, and everyone's waiting for the parade. Yeah, well, they're just going to have to wait a few moments longer. And then we'll be right back, and on with the parade. Now, class, Mr. Tiger will show us how Kellogg's Sugar Frosted Flake cereal starts out. It's a flake field? It's a cornfield. Kellogg's toast corn to golden flakes and adds a secret frosting. Helps keep them extra crunchy and delicious. It's part of your good breakfast and tastes... I Mrs. Paul's fish sticks. Hey, they aren't fish sticks. They certainly are. They're new, light batter fish sticks. How are they? Well, my family thinks they're terrific. They cook up light, really nice and crispy, and you get a create a sauce mix right in the package. Light batter brings out the best in fish and really makes a difference. Golden, light, all natural. And wait till you taste that fish. Mrs. Paul's new light batter. Fish sticks with a difference. Mr. Jaws, the Texas Toads, and the Inspector. 
followed by McDuff, the talking dog. Far out fun with a ghost dog who can appear whenever he wants. And the Monster Squad, Frankenstein, Wolfman, and Dracula, who have turned over a new page and are super forces against evil and injustice. Then Land of the Lost returns for another exciting year as a modern family battles its way in a prehistoric world. Next, another new show, when Big John becomes Little John. Hilarious happenings are the result. With more new excitement, the kids from Cape off on a series of amazing and amusing adventures and singing the hit songs you'll be singing too. Then to top your Saturday morning of super fun, Muggsy, the show that's packed with many surprises. There it is, kids, your Saturday morning lineup of great shows starting this Saturday morning. That's tomorrow morning, right here on NBC. It's been a lot of fun, and thanks for asking me to join you. It's strictly our pleasure, Freddy. Without you and your magic, we couldn't have had a parade like this. Well, thank you, bud. Okay. I know I shouldn't ask. Yes, Doomsday. But about making the wagons appear. And the bands and things. Yeah. Well, don't let it worry you, P.T. See, a long time ago, a very smart man said, anything is believable if it's unbelievable. Hey, what's going on? Hey, come on, guys. Let's get out of here. <laughs> on tonight's show with the kids from Cape Steve Bonino, Kathy Costa, Biff Warren, John Lansing. And from McDuff the Talking Dog, Walter Willison and McDuff. From the Monster Squad, Henry Pollock II, Buck Tartalian, Michael Lane, Fred Brandy. From Big John, Little John, Robbie Riff. This fall, NBC sends you all the best like Bob Our Black Sheep, with Bob Conrad as Pappy Boyington, the World War II flying ace who pounded a pack of misfits into the squadron and blasted the enemy out of the... To a child who doesn't read, the world is a closed book. That's why more than 200 RIF programs help these kids get books for keeps to make them want to read. RIF Incorporated, Box 23444, Washington, D.C. Premiering tomorrow morning at 10.30, 9.30 Central and 9 Pacific. Super strongman Steve Reeves starring in two super adventures. First, Hercules, the movie that started it all. Monday night at 8, 7 Central and Mountain Time. And then on Sunday night, September 19th, it's Hercules Unchained. Two great adventure movies, two great nights of family fun on NBC.